You hear lots of people talking about climate change and you know, you kind of wonder how that affects you in your daily life. It's not on a lot of people's radar, unfortunately, even though it is mainstream and in the media, but it does have an impact on wetlands and the lack of wetlands on the Southwestern Ontario landscape plays a role in the impact of climate change. Well, my name is Nick Crete and I'm a conservation program specialist with Ducks Unlimited Canada based in central southwestern Ontario. Ducks Unlimited is not a regulatory body, right? We're a non-government conservation organization focusing on the preservation and restoration of wetlands. Southwestern Ontario is the most developed area of southern Ontario. Wetlands are one of the most important pieces of the natural infrastructure puzzle. They provide habitat for waterfowl and wildlife, but they also provide educational and recreational spaces for people. They improve water quality. We have things like flood attenuation. Um, we look at nutrient loading and, and carbon sequestration. Historically, we saw as much as, you know, 70% uh, wetland loss across Ontario. And in those urban centers, we saw 95% loss in wetlands. So it's, it's a unique challenge in that we have heavy development and agriculture and we're just looking to kind of move the pin the other direction. So we're at the Hutton project today which is located in Minto Township and it's an 8.4 acre engineered wetland. So this is a larger engineered wetland that provides brood habitat for waterfowl and one of the things that, that's marked by this project is the species diversity on this project. It's fantastic. You have willows, you have all of the different good interspersion um, of vegetation that you want. We bought this property with the hopes of uh, doing some conservation work on it, viewing the wildlife, just being at home in the country. There already was some class one wetlands here, but we thought we could try to uh, uh, increase that a little bit. I think I've always been a con conservationist at heart. I've also been a hunter and fisher person at heart. So uh, those were kind of considerations when we brought the property to. Partnership with Daryl Hutton and his family on a wetland project on this property began with an initial site visit in the fall of 2011. Generally, a lot of times site visits are done in the fall because then paperwork and permitting can be completed over the winter time. So that's when this all started, and then the project would have been implemented in the summer of 2012. And it involved the use of an existing railway bed as a berm to contain water within um, an already wet area. We're here to help landowners identify what would be the most beneficial place to waterfowl and wildlife on their properties to implement a wetland project. And the challenges at times can be that a lot of these areas are, are farmed, you know, and that this is how these people make their livelihoods. So we're always looking to try and work with the landowner and identify areas on their property that are maybe a problem or areas that are just sitting idle that aren't being farmed and develop these projects in those areas so that we're not impeding their ability to make money or their livelihood or enjoy their property. So this property has always been kind of a refuge for me, uh, working out uh, in, in business for several years, coming home here with just a way to relax, taking a walk back through the bush and into, around the marsh, or oh, seeing some wildlife. That was one of the things that uh, helped calm me down at the end of the day. There's quite a few uh, species that uh, we'll see on the property, uh, white-tailed deer, coyotes, uh, and then of course all the uh, waterfowl, Canada geese, blue winged teal, mallards, uh, several herons also uh, live here. Ducks Unlimited has been very helpful uh, managing the project on the property. Of course the initial work uh, being done was, was all on their part. They came in, they just took control, built a wetland as they so well do. They will, if you have any problems or questions, you're able to give them a call, they'll come out and do a visit, address any concerns that you have but we really haven't had too much in that way. So we offer many programs to landowners in southwestern Ontario that they can tap into for both wetland restoration and, and BMP, so better management practices, on their property. So we have our small wetland program, which is generally half acre to one acre size excavated wetlands. They are 100% self-managed. We have our large wetland program that they can also tap into, which is similar we have our managed forest tax incentive program. So that's a program that's run by the province and what it is is if landowners have a certain acreage of existing wetlands on their property, they can receive money from Ducks Unlimited to help pay for their managed forest plan. We also have our better management practices program. So, you know, we will at times look to secure existing wetlands on, on a piece of property that a landowner has by helping them offset costs of things like eaves troughs, fencing, things like that on their property. 
Another program that we have is our Nest Box program. And our Nest Box program is a way for us to provide habitat to ducks and nesting opportunities to wood ducks that are on existing wetlands. Give us a call. It's as simple as a conversation. We have staff who do the initial inquiry. They talk with you. They suss out the information that they need to determine whether they think it might be a good site for it. Landowners are one of the most important part of our program delivery. If we didn't have the ability to work with landowners, we wouldn't be able to do any projects in Southwestern Ontario.